My name is Randy Groza and I was an archaeologist. How long did you work as an archaeologist? Oh, about 15 years. What was your educational path to becoming an archaeologist? I always loved to travel and so I thought I would be an anthropologist. I went to school as an adult. I never got through during college age. And I took a lot of different anthropology classes. I went to a community college near where I lived. And the last anthro, you know, under undergrad, the last undergrad class I took was archaeology. And I lo just loved it because it involved so many aspects of life and incorporated anthropology, studying people, how they do things, why they do them. But this also, we looked at what they used. I, I, I worked all over on different islands, except for Lanai, and just only Lanai. So I got to work on all the other islands and many, many sites everywhere, mostly throughout Oahu, but quite a few on the big island too, Kona side mostly. So uh, you kind of start with a, a survey where you walk an area and you might find big structures like Heiau, temples, um, housing structures, because the Hawaiians use lava rock for everything, so it's it's there forever, unless somebody comes along and bulldozes it. Um, or we might find artifacts scattered, it might be a work site where people were producing tools. Um, and then if we were in the excavation phase of the project, we might find artifacts again, could be a work site, you might find uh, like a fire rock area with lots of charcoal and, and also bones, human remains. Of all the sites you have worked on, which one of them had the most significant or notable discoveries? I would have to say on the big island, near the airport, but upslope, an area that had never been developed, and it was covered with house structures, rock walls, rock paths, like almost roadways, um, and a hail. Are there other places you have worked on? And if so, what was it like compared to Hawaii? I did work in California for uh, about five years. And I would say the primary difference is that in the California natives used materials that didn't preserve as well because both Native Hawaiians and Native Californians use natural products, you know, trees and they so the structures here were made with lava rock, and in Hawaii, in California, they were made with trees, more or less. And so the, there were not, you could tell that had, there had been a site. If you cleared the area, the soil would be darker. You would find artifacts as you started excavating, or you might see things scattered on the surface. But that's the primary difference between the two. 
lava rock is so prevalent here. What was it like to work in the perceived to be a male-dominated field? Well, archaeology has become more and more female-dominated. <laughs> and there were always female role models, I thought. And I went to San Francisco State University and there were quite a few men that taught, but there were women also. And they were happy to work with you and discuss how to further your knowledge and career. And working, it was not an issue. It really wasn't. I mean, most archaeologists I have found are just happy to be there. <laughs> Do you keep up with archaeological excavations going around on the world or even here in Hawaii right now? I do both. Um, I read a lot about different discoveries that are made around the world. I belong to this World Archaeological Committee or something. It's called WEC. And they send emails all the time. And then locally, there's the Society for Hawaiian Archaeologists, and I've been a member with them for years. And so I do, I keep up on it. It's just, it's, it's still fascinating to me, so. Historically speaking, from the past, are there any digs you would have liked to have been part of, and why? So probably, the for me, the most interesting dig would have been Machu Picchu in Peru because it's so massive and the rocks that are around this massive site, nobody knows how they got there. How did the people get them there? It's kind of like the pyramids. It's just kind of overwhelming and that I always thought that would be a going through the jungles with a machete to find it first of all and then do some excavating yeah that would be fine is choice. there any advice you would give to young women who are seeking a career in this field if you're interested I would definitely contact they're called cultural resource management groups. There are many in Hawaii because there are so many laws that protect archeological sites and human remains. And I would just ask if I could volunteer. And often you could get an internship and it might turn into a great job.